what are you telling your investors as to mm -hmm. how they really figure out how to decide whether a green bond is actually green? What sort of screening process do mm. you go through? What are you telling investors? I think transparency is the best policy here, given that it's a self-regulated market, right? So uh, when you issue a green bond, it's no longer just you know, uh, fulfilling the full, full criteria set up by, for example, ICMA green bond principles, as well as you know, uh, China green bond uh, uh, regulation. Uh, in, in issuer need to provide ongoing transparency in a post issuance stage throughout the maturity of the bond. You know, investors essentially want to understand how you are allocating the proceeds and what are the environmental and social impact achieved you know, from the allocation. Because at the end of the day, you are selling you know, the green credential, the sustainability credential to investors, right? So investors really need to get hold of that kind of information. So right now, we definitely need to, or we, we hope to see the market can, can grow uh, with transparency, with, with, with quality. So mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to impact matrix, right, we really need to quantify you know, for example, the carbon savings that you sure. know we are talking about, so that you know we are really mm -hmm. uh, investors can invest uh, in a way that is aligned to the 1.5 degree uh, 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 strategy sure. that they put in place. So, okay, quality so of, that, of data point disclosure is. So, providing that data, that disclosure that you're talking yes, about, Christine? my question is: Can it really push companies to make meaningful change? Absolutely, I think we're already seeing this kind of change because investors are, uh, are, are actually uh, pushing uh, issuers to change because right now we're seeing it's a demand-driven environment. So investors want to add this to their portfolio, right? So and issuers respond very well. And in an ESG credit survey that we, we did early this year, uh, 80% of investors expect their ESG uh, AUM to grow by 30% in the next two years. So there's certainly a lot of capital for issuers to, to, to attract. So it, it, it provides a great incentive. You know, right now we are seeing improving transparency. Uh, I would say you know, in a green bond market these days, without a post-issuance green report where you detail the allocation and environmental impact in a quantitative way, you would not be able to get hold of these investors, right? So we are seeing this, you know, uh, uh, improvement in the bond market. Apart from the issue in itself, sure. we are also seeing improvement in disclosure uh, at the company level. So investors mm -hmm. are getting more sophisticated, asking companies to really think about meaningful climate uh, adaptation strategy, uh, uh, decarbonization commitment, as well as you know, uh, roadmaps to deliver these kind of uh, pledges, right? So we sure. we definitely see uh, a lot of uh, development, and 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 in companies are responding to investors' demand. 